what I'm going to bring to you guys right here is the invisibility glitch. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to do this, but at the same time, the biggest issue is this to me. Like I said in my live, that the invisibility glitch was back. This gentleman right here has actually brought, brought out some proof, so I will show you part of his video, and then we'll discuss it. So you squeezed them, you hammered them to the point of desperation. And in their desperation, they turned to a man they didn't fully understand. Criminals aren't complicated, Alfred. We just need to figure out what he's after. With respect, Master Wayne, perhaps this is a man you don't fully understand either. It's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? Some men aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Alright, say, say, like, okay, come over here in the middle and do that. Say 30 second clip and send that with me, like, running a circle around you. Now you see, the biggest problem that I have with this is people got banned for using the original invisibility glitch. Now from what I understand, there's a few other mechanics and everything else that have to take place in order to accomplish this, but this proves that the developers don't take it out of the game, they just fix it to where it's harder to obtain or how you obtain it. This is enough proof to show this. Same with the ladder glitches, same with the probably damage glitch, um, tons of other things. So we never will get full patches on anything that they take out of the game, just a small band-aid over a huge wound. And that should actually piss a lot of players off with this development team and the game itself. And to me personally, it's, it's kind of a slap in the face to those people who did get banned, but then the, the like I said, the developers actually just left it in the game. So why were the people originally banned? This could even go with the one with Descent. Let's say uh, something goes on later on and the development team does some kind of patch and the patch undoes something to where now Descent becomes that farming ability yet again. But the people who got banned for the original one, you know, they got all that stuff done to them. Like, what the hell? You're going to sit here and ban people for shit that you don't actually fix developers and take out of the game? That, that's that's completely fucked up. Either take it completely out of the game or, you know, I, I'm sorry. It just, it's just real frustrating, honestly, to me. That's mainly just it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I'm going to bring to you all on this. Again, I'm not going to show you guys how to do it, uh, but we are taking the proper steps to get with the developers. The developers have seen the actual video that's out there. Uh, it's got about 25 views. Uh, we're keeping it private uh, until the developers come back and say what they want to do. So far they said, please keep it private. So we will do that. And that's what we do. See, we take the proper steps. Not like some other YouTubers. I'm not going to mention their names, but those guys right there just instantly just post stuff for views because they will actually want to break the game. Uh, not us. We're not trying to break the game. We're trying to help fix the game the best we possibly can.